So let me get this straight. You want us to come to Hornlight to tell us about a very important mission, right? Well, Octavia, that's why we brought you here for an important mission. Listen very importantly, we have to get to Indaka City to find the Dark Crimson Vipers gang as a payback for making my girlfriend suffer a fever, and we have to find a cure for Sapphire Sickness. For what Cyber meant to say is that we should go to Indaka City to find a cure for Sapphire. We saw everything about this incident when they helped out the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad to kidnap his girlfriend Sapphire Hamada. So let me guess, it was a Dark Crimson Vipers gang are the ones who helped out the Cyberpunk with Magnus Squad to break into his mansion to kidnap Cyber's girlfriend. That's correct, Atavio. I know the fact that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang along with the Cyberpunk Wave Madness Squad might be the ones who was responsible for this incident when Sapphire's rival Garnet Phillips kidnapped her and took her to the abandoned factory. They even traumatized Sapphire since she already got a fever due to Tobias. Not only that. They also traumatized Troy Lofren by torturing and trying to electrocute him into ashes after the incident at the nightclub. So let me guess, it was a Dark Crimson Vipers gang are the ones who helped out the cyberpunk with Magnus Squad to break into his mansion to kidnap Cyber's girlfriend. Oh, so those stupid spoiled Karma Houdinis thinks they can lay a finger on Cyber's girlfriend and get away with it. Now she has a fever because of Tobias. They are gonna pay for this when we find them. I swear, they're all gonna get a punishment day for what they did to Sapphire. Those fucking bastards won't get away with this. I'm gonna find those heartless bastards for making my girlfriend sick and traumatized. Well, they've got another thing coming. Watch this everyone. Cyber and Matthew are about to transform into a Super Saiyan. Whoa. Cyber's rage is unleashed after he got upset due to Sapphire's sickness. I've never seen this kind of power before. So you see guys, that's why Cyber has achieved a level of his first power so that it could only be maintained in a transformation process that he only maintained the Cyber technology. Amazing. Cyber and Matthew both have the first level of an alter ego. Hey Cyber, how do you transform the high level with its ultimate power of high technology? There is no time to explain. We must get to the Dark Crimson Vipers Gang Mansion. Cyber will show you a way to follow him to one of and Dark City to put those terrorists into their places. Yuka is right. We can't let my girlfriend suffer the sickness. The rest of my crew is counting on us. I agree with Cyber Samurai. We must get to the dark place to settle the score with the Dark Crimson Vipers gang, even if it's the only way who can survive. More importantly, we'll put those Karma Houdinis into their places, then we'll get the cure for Sapphire's fever. Everyone is counting on us. Okay. Lead the way, Cyber. Alright guys, time to teleport to Indaka City to find the Dark Crimson Vipers gang so we can give them a payback. This fight will be bigger than effort. This fight is for Sapphire Hamada. Ha 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 Wow. That was worth it that we got Cyber crying like a baby after we got his precious girlfriend sick from a fever. She really deserves it. Same here, Sydney. Now she'll be staying down and suffer. I bet Cyber Samurai will go ape shit when he finds us here at your mansion. I'm so sorry for fleeing out of the old abandoned warehouse along with my crew. Now our fun is ruined because of Cyber Samurai. That's okay, Garnet. We tried our best to fry Cyber's girlfriend. When Cyber gets to our mansion, he'll go ape shit as well. Now we got the Ultra Cyber Wave Zen Warriors out of the way, what should we do with our target that we can kidnap and eliminate? My thoughts exactly, Sydney. Now Sapphire is out of the way, now we can focus on our new target that we have to kill. We proposed a toast to Tobias for helping me with a magic shield to deflect her powers and made Cyber's beloved girlfriend a fever. Why thank you very much Jareth. Now we call this a celebration with a perfect diabolical victory. But we failed to eliminate Sapphire though, it was worth it. 
No problem, Tobias. Let's have a drink as the biggest reward too. You fucking animals. Well, well, well. Look what the lover boy came here to visit. So, Cyber, how does it feel when your precious girlfriend gets a fever? That's too bad that you have to suffer a state of depression after I use my ability to deflect her power that no one will freeze Jareth into a popsicle. On this day forward, when your girlfriend suffers a high fever with a virus, she will die. So you thought it was a good idea to make Safi sick, huh? You have no sympathy for all the pain you've caused. You see, my girlfriend doesn't like to get kidnapped. How would you like it if I freeze you to death until you have a fever? You better apologize to Sapphire now or we'll take action. Well, Cyber, we don't care. She deserves to get a fever for being nothing but a pathetic hero who tries to freeze Jareth into a stupid popsicle. And no, we're not going to apologize to your precious girlfriend. Now do us a favor, Cyber. Piss off and get the fuck out of our sight before we make you suffer. No, we are not getting out of your sights. You want to know the reason that you really freeze Sapphire to make his girlfriend sick? Garnet Phillips, you really think that you can have the audacity to kidnap Sapphire and get away with it? No one does that to our friend Sapphire. I agree with the both of them. You got a lot of nerve to trying to cook Sapphire into a human meat? Now she was traumatized thanks to your horrendous actions. Not to mention when I heard when it's coming from outside of the mansion. For what I see in my eyes, you really beat up Chase over a prank which he deserves. You have no right to beat up people like that. You guys really done a lot of damages in crowning Kate Arcana City. You despicable, callous, rotten, and a psychopathic monsters have gone too far. For what you did to Sapphire, you're gonna pay for this. Says the one you'll be paying. Boo. I'm so scared. What are you gonna do about it? Are you gonna freeze me to death? Guess what, Cyber? We're not scared of you. Besides, we can do anything whatever the fuck we want with those useless worms. I'm gonna tell you one last time. Piss off with your suffering girlfriend and don't come back to our sights. Alright you stupid heartless jerks. For what you did to Sapphire, time to put you four into your places so I can freeze you to death for ten minutes and make you guys have a fever as a payback. You'll pay for this. Oh shit. Cyber is going to freeze me. Don't worry Jareth. I still got you covered. Oh. Tobias deflected my power. This is not good. Don't worry, Cyber. I got you on this. What the? That little snow pixie devil uses her force field on this prick. I thought I freeze him until he gets a fever just like his beloved girlfriend. That's impossible. Nice try. That won't work on me. Do you really think you can use your magic shield to deflect my power to freeze me? Think again Tobias, it's not gonna happen. You see, Yuka helped me with her snow force field to protect me from getting myself frozen and turn me into a popsicle. Well, you got lucky this time. I get it, me and Garnet made your girlfriend inflict the pain when me and Garnet are willing to kill your girlfriend with our powers by roasting her till she dies. She still deserves it. In fact, Sapphire is nothing but a stupid blue-haired bitch who needs to suffer after she got Sydney and Garnet expelled from school. That's too bad for you, Cyber. I guess she's gonna have to suffer. Yay. You psychopathic monsters really did it this time. Well, she didn't do anything to you. Sapphire's principal has the right to get Sydney and Garnet expelled from school for assaulting and hurting Sapphire just for your retaliation. And you guys caused a lot of trouble in Kate O'Connor City and in Darker City. You just don't know when to stop, do you? Enough is enough. You bastards won't get away with this. You don't care about the sympathy for my sorrow, I can see that. But it won't be nothing that the pain you made Sapphire feel traumatized, you're not even at least sorry. All you think about is your evil schemes who will willing achieve your goals when you're hurting someone like Chase Blackburn. 
That is no fucking excuse to beat him like that, and you actually deserved it. All you can think about is how you tried to torture my girlfriend by try to roast her while you're willing to try to destroy me. Now you better apologize to my girlfriend or fight. Your choice. We don't care. He should have followed the rules for making fun of our places. Nope. We're still not going to apologize to your girlfriend, she still deserves to have the fever, plus she'll have to suffer the sickness and that's final. Alright then, time for you to experience pain that you made Sapphire having a fever and traumatized because of you. Big mistake. Hey! Get your fucking hands off of Tobias right now or else. Don't you dare lay a finger on Cyber. Hey, who the fuck do you think you're messing with? Come get some. There you go, Cyber. Show this bastard who's boss. Go, Cyber. Do your best. I agree with you, Glad. Come on, Cyber. You can do this. Whoa, whoa, easy there, we can discuss this like gentlemen. Give me one reason why I shouldn't fuck you up right here. You better tell them the truth, now. When did you got my girlfriend having a fever? Okay, 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 I'll tell you. We were the ones who helped out the cyberpunk wave madness squad to break into your mansion to kidnap your girlfriend. I also helped Jareth by using my magic shield to deflect her ice ball to get Sapphire solid frozen. After we took her into an old abandoned warehouse, Garnet and Sydney are about to eliminate your girlfriend by using their powers, we failed, and I was the one who made Sapphire have a fever. So they can hear you loud and clear. Now you understand the pain you made Sapphire feel. You're such a karma Houdini and a heartless psychopathic monsters that you have the nerve to put my girlfriend go through living hell by traumatizing my girlfriend. Lucky for you, the person you beat up and tortured would rather see you rot in jail. Not even close to your own evil scheming plans you can just try me. Not anymore. Ouch. Got one Zylona. I got a perfect shot on this bastard. Nice shot, Tessa. That'll teach that stupid worm not to mess with. Hey. What the hell is your problem, you psychopathic monsters? Can't you see I was about to settle the score with Tobias for what he did to Sapphire? Oh, shut the fuck up and deal with it, Cyber Sandler. Bye. Plus, your girlfriend deserves to suffer the fatal sickness. That's too bad that she won't be here with you, and this is what you get for messing with Tobias. So, Cyber, what are you gonna do about it? You stupid Kama Houdinis have crossed the line. There's no way that we won't let Sapphire suffer the sickness. You've traumatized four people too far enough, and we won't let you guys kidnap another victim and putting people into a trauma. Not this time. You just don't get it, do you? We can do whatever we want with those useless worms that we can eliminate no matter what it takes, so get over it. Oh yay? Do you really think that you can accomplish to kidnap, torture, and hurting people for your sick enjoyment? Well, that's not going to happen you despicable monsters. You're all gonna pay for what you did to Cyber's girlfriend. Well, is that what you want to play rough, isn't it? I guess it's time to eliminate you all instead. Alright you psychopathic fiends, it's time to put you ten into your places. Hey Cyber, ready to give the Dark Crimson Vipers gang some payback. Ready when you are, Atavio. Let's do this.
That should take care of Tobias for making Sapphire having a fever. I know, we glad Tobias deserves a payback for this incident when he made Sapphire sick from a fever. What should we do Cyber Samurai? Well, Matthew, we're about to find out. We can do this, for Sapphire. Let's end this. No. La. This is so not fair. Where about to be active and his free and treat care? There is no white cat case and transform into their alter ego. La. Shut it with your motor car crying you despicable, callous, treacherous, rotten, selfish, and a psychopathic spoiled karma Houdinis. I hope you're fucking happy with yourselves for making my girlfriend having a fever. You guys have done it this time. You tried to use your powers to burn his girlfriend into ashes. Don't you even realize she could have got a 10th degree burn if you actually got Sapphire burned? What you spoiled Karma Houdini's did was attempted murder. Now she has nightmares thanks to your horrendous actions. Most importantly, you've been going around kidnapping two people without anyone knowing whenever they didn't take a snapshot of you monsters breaking into the mansion to kidnap his girlfriend Sapphire. You know that she doesn't like to get kidnapped. Not only that, you've been assaulting and hurting Chase Blackburn over a prank which he really deserves. That doesn't give you the right to have the audacity to beat him like that. You spoiled hypocrites and a stupid karma Houdinis are far more worse than the darkness madness devils and the legion of superbike. All of you stay pinned on the ground until the police will arrive to arrest the ten of you and Garnet Phillips. Speaking of the magic kid, we must guide you to the Supreme Purple Storm's gang's mansion to see you both. She will help us with our ingredients if for the magic medicine to cure Sapphire's sickness. Great idea, Yuka. While we head to the Supreme Purple Storm's gang mansion, we'll help with Bo and Alexa to produce the magic medicine to get Sapphire well. Hey Sala Sala, call the police on the ten of them, especially Garnet Phillips as well. I'm on it Rio. I'm getting the police to tell them to be on their way to their mansion to arrest them on the spot for causing this incident to Sapphire Hamada. Dark Crimson Vikers Gang and Garnet Phillips. All of you are under arrest for two counts of assault, kidnapping and attempted murder. You all don't have something to say, this may harm your defense. If you don't mention one question, something you'll be rely on court. All of you will be going away for a very long time. You cop dogs won't get away from our plans this time. When we get out of jail, I'll destroy and eliminate more of those useless worms for standing in our way. If that's the last thing I do. Oh yay? You think you can go around kidnap and torture people for your own sick enjoyment, do you? Guess again you spoiled hypocrites. Cyber gave me something to take away your powers so you won't be killing anyone tonight. You guys always want to cause misery and do bad things to other people, but whenever someone does something back to you, you want to get all mad and throw a hissy fit and everything, but you're just an entitled hypocrites and heartless karma houdinis who care about no one but yourself. Oh shut up solo solo. I can torture Sapphire again if I ever want to. She deserved a high level fever and I can kidnap and eliminate people no matter what. Oh yeah. The only thing you criminals deserve is justice, and the new place you'll be staying is the prison cell. Well, that's not gonna happen you bunch of dark crimson vipers peeps. All of you should be locked up in a prison cell for going around planning to kidnap, torture, and traumatize people. This evil scheme ends right now. And you'll pay for this fiasco for torture and traumatizing Cyber's girlfriend. When Sapphire is cured, you vile monsters won't go near Cyber's girlfriend ever again. You heard what he says, you've been going around kidnapping two people and assaulting two people, breaking into their properties without anyone knowing. That's it. All of you will be locked up for 15 years in the penitentiary. Let's go. Hang on a minute officer, before you take Jareth, Sydney, Garnet and Tobias away, I need to have a serious talk with those three heartless and a spoiled hypocrites. All right officers, take the seven of them to the car while I'm dealing with those three here. All right, Mr. Cyber Samurai, you do whatever you want with them. 
As for the others, take them away. Got it. You're a selfish, heartless, cruel, malicious, and a spoiled karma Houdini's for beating Kaze's brother Chase Blackburn. Me and Sapphire has a right point about you, and you seriously made my girlfriend sick. You know what? That's it. Me and the Hamadas will file a 50-yard restraining order against you so you go near Sapphire to kidnap and traumatize her again. If you step 50 foot near my girlfriend by trying to lay a finger on her again, you've got another thing coming. Before I give them a payback, you might want to stand back a little while Jareth will watch them getting solid frozen. Okay. We'll make sure those three won't move a thing by trying to resist the arrest. And by the way, before you get thrown in prison for traumatizing my girlfriend, I got something for you. What? Anything that you want to give us? Well then, you're about to find out. For this, you Karma Houdinis will receive the punishment for all of your horrific actions. Time for you to get solid frozen just like for what you did to my girlfriend Sapphire. Take this. That's for making my girlfriend having a fever. Have fun getting solid frozen in jail. After the ice melts, you three will have a fever as a paypack while you're in the hospital while the police will restrain the three of you in handcuffs. Yeah! This will keep you the lesson for making Cyber's girlfriend sick and popping Sapphire into trauma since her sophomore year in 2012. Have fun getting thrown in jail, you dark crimson vipers feats. Alright, let's get the solid frozen criminals into the police car, fellas. Get in the police car right now. You're in the heap of trouble. I'll get you for this, Otavia. If that's the last thing I do, when we get out of this shithole, you'll pay for making Sydney, Garnet, and Tobias frozen. Good riddance to the Dark Crimson Vipers gang. Let's hope that they won't be causing any more trouble for Harmon and kidnapping any more people for us. Exactly, Hatavio. This is the example that the Dark Crimson Vipers gang are becoming more of a threat. But to cut it short, they were just much horrific and vile as the Legion of Superbike and the Darkness Madness Devils whenever they're planning to terrorize more people and mild troublemakers for their sick enjoyment. Hey Cyber, why do you look so sad for all of a sudden? To tell you on this Valerie, I'm still depressed after they got my girlfriend sick from a fever. Those psychopathic monsters don't have any sympathy for anyone else's sorrow whenever there's a serious tragedy going around. Sydney and Garnet are nothing but heartless, cruel, selfish, callous, ruthless, sadistic, and an arrogant spoiled karma Houdinis that they ever lay a finger on my girlfriend by kidnapping her and get away with it. I swear, I don't want to lose her. Hey now, Cyber Samurai, everything is going to be okay, Sapphire is safe now. Why would Sydney and Garnet ever do such a thing to Sapphire Hamada? Well to tell you this, Sala Sala, after the incident happened when the Dark Crimson Vipers gang helped out the Cyberpunk Quant Madness Squad when they had the audacity to break into Cyber's mansion and kidnap his girlfriend with the help of Garnet Phillips. The worst part is Sydney and Garnet are about to burn her into ashes, she could have got a tenth degree burn for that. How sinister of them to do that to Sapphire. Those vile, malicious, cruel, and as spoiled hypocrites are becoming more worse than the darkness madness devils, and the legion of superbike whenever they become a threat than before. I have to agree with you solo solo. Sapphire doesn't deserve this kind of torture that those vile, sadistic, vile, and a psychopathic karma Houdinis put Sapphire through. Now Cyber is still getting upset because of Tobias. 
it's just sad that we saw sydney beating that poor boy chase after we came to visit otavio's mansion we're glad chase is recovered from the severe injuries he had yeah we feel so sorry for what sydney did to chase blackburn she doesn't have the right to beat him like that by putting him into a serious trauma let's hope that our friend sapphire is okay they'll have the magic medicine ready to cure sapphire's fever don't worry cyber just hang in there okay you're not alone cyber we're still here for you don't worry sapphire will be okay those dark crimson vipers fiends are arrested for their villainous actions look on the bright side alexa yuka rio maria akira and we are almost done with the process to produce the magic medicine to restore sapphire's original health and beauty once it's done, we're giving this to Cyber to make sure to leave this for Sapphire, and he'll be happy when Sapphire's health is recovered.